The Oakland A's are bad. Not just kind of bad, they're really bad. They're the worst team in Major League Baseball. They play in the oldest and worst stadium, and they're moving to Las Vegas. Well, last night they had a huge win in extra innings. They're coming off a one-game win streak, so I'm going to go to a game and see how bad it really is. The price is right. Row 24, $8. I splurged, went with row 18, 27 I grew up going to Yankees games, and I loved it. We'd take the train in and watch Roger Clemens, Mariana Rivera, Derek Jeter. Now in Oakland, we're a laughing stock. The Moneyball days are long gone. It feels like a part of my life is missing. I want that back. Today, I'm taking it back. The A's have had a rough season. They're on track to finish with the worst record of any team in the major league in over a century. Fans blame the owner, John Fisher, who sold all the best players and raised ticket prices. If you don't know who John Fisher is, he's the billionaire son of the founders of The Gap. His parents sent him to a bunch of fancy schools, then he started a business to work with The Gap, but somehow that didn't work out. His parents gave him a ton of money and he invested it in some pretty smart things. And now he owns the A's. John blames the city of Oakland for being unwilling to invest in a new stadium. That's definitely true, the stadium sucks. The city said John was never intending to invest in a new stadium and never wanted to keep the A's in Oakland. We'll never know if that's true, but that's definitely true. None of that matters now because the A's are officially headed to Las Vegas. So I'm gonna see if I can have fun on a Wednesday afternoon watching the worst team in baseball. The A's would get off to a slow start, as they so often do. But that's not the point. The outcome of this game was never in doubt. So I set out to see what the Oakland Coliseum has to offer. At first glance, food choices were limited. But the stadium offers a ton of elbow room. Walkways are wide, and seating options are plentiful. There's a garden on the roof, a mini baseball field, and a clubhouse for dogs. For a moment, I thought I was the only fan in attendance. Even the employees felt lifeless. But then I managed to find the real fans and made my way to my $27 seat. The A's quickly regained their composure and I remembered what I was here for, drinking and gambling. For me, it's not really baseball without peanuts. I ate so many peanuts. And if you have the pleasure, don't sleep on the garlic fries. A lot has been said of the crumbling Oakland Coliseum, and there was one point where the broadcasters did have to throw possums out of the press box. There are some things in need of repair, but the Coliseum has the Bay Area's least crowded picnic spot. There are views of downtown San Francisco, and where you see cobwebs, I see history. Enough of that. I need another beer. $16? Really? But who am I to complain about John Fisher's beer prices? I know I'm winning this raffle. There are so many open seats at A's games. If you make it to a game, I'd encourage you to move around. Unless you see this woman. After the YMCA, boredom set in. The umps had a tea party. Outfielders had one of their own. And this guy couldn't find anyone to play catch with. Neither could this guy. It seemed that all hope was lost. Even the concession stands shut down. Swag sales, of course, never close. Then, as if summoned by the ghost of Vita Blue himself, the A's did something special. And we have seen the time I raced back to my $27 seat. These guys ran somewhere too. I tried to move up a couple of rows. Remember this woman? She moved me back. The fans booed. Were they booing me or her? We'll never know. I got a foul ball. No, seriously. Right after I moved back. Meanwhile, a play at the plate. The call? He's out. 
Wait, never mind, it's under review. Could this be a two-game win streak? After review, the call on the field is confirmed. The runner is out, and there was no blocking. Both will lose their challenge. The A's are bad. There's no denying it. It looks like this season will be their last in Oakland. And that's a shame. Because no one had more fun that afternoon than me and 4,000 loyal Athletics fans. Thank you.